Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint two modern minimalistic paintings. Um, before we get started, I would love to have you guys hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, any kind of DIY home videos or tutorials. So let's get started. For these two paintings, I used everything that I had lying around my house. So it's locked down in Canada right now, so I wasn't even able to go to the store if I wanted to. Um, so starting off, you'll want to have some kind of canvas and then some kind of painting brushes. I just got mine from the dollar store. I had these lying around for like years and they're still good. Um, for this kind of painting, you'll probably want like one medium size thickness. Um, and then a few that are a little bit um, smaller just to get those details. You're gonna wanna have paint. So I went with uh, really neutral colors. So um, I went with uh, kind of like the sienna brown color, um, white, I mixed in a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue as well. Um, so you can choose whichever painting you like or whatever you have at home. Um, this one is from the dollar store and then I have like more professional kind from Michaels. Um, the only difference is that um, like the cheaper ones, you'll just have to go over the paint a couple of more times because it's um, a little bit of like a thinner um, paint, um, but it's no issue. I use both. You're going to want some painter's tape to go around um, the edges to make like a really nice um, clean frame. And you're going to want um, a pencil and an eraser just to like sketch things out on your canvas and a little mixing palette. As you can tell, mine is a little bit destroyed. I've literally had this for like 10 years, but uh, yeah, if you don't have one, you can just use any kind of like bowl or anything like that. The painting I'm gonna be showing you how to do right now is this one right over here. The first step to this painting is to paint your whole canvas white. Now this is totally optional, but I always paint a white layer over the canvas just to smooth it out and remove any scuffs that are on the canvas. As the paint dries, you can use this time to sketch out what you want your design to look like. You can use paper and a pencil, but if you have an iPad, I really suggest sketching it out on there um, because it's easier to try different colors, um, color schemes and shapes out. I'm using Procreate to sketch out my design and I'm using this wall art for inspiration that I found on Pinterest. As you can see, I'm just kind of doodling to see what could look good potentially. By the end of it, I kind of got a gist of what I wanted. Once your painting is dried, you're going to want to tape all four sides of your painting and this is to give it a really nice clean frame once you're done with the painting. Um, I did two layers of tape, but it's really up to you. Once you've taped all four sides of your painting, you can now go ahead and sketch your design of choice onto your canvas. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, these are just light sketches to give you a nice idea um, when you're painting and where your shapes are going to go. So now you're going to want to take your painter's tape and tape over your design with it. Um, so this was actually a bit more challenging than I expected because I didn't think about the fact that tape is straight and my shape is quite curvy, obviously. Uh, so I just had to try a few different techniques out and at the end I found the best one was to just take smaller sizes of the tape instead of trying to shape long strips of tape into my curvy lines, if that makes sense. Uh, but in hindsight, I would have probably not done such a curvy shape or I would have just um, not used uh, tape and just straight painted the line on. So just keep this in mind when you're doing your painting. Here's a closer look at what that tape technique looks like. I went over my line twice, but that's because my tape was quite thin. But this is really up to you and the design that you have in mind. Okay, so here comes the fun part the painting. So you're going to want to choose your color of choice and just paint over your whole entire canvas on top of the tape and all. You're going to want to paint over your um, canvas around two or three times to give it a really nice smooth texture um, because canvases usually come with this kind of like rough texture but if you're into that then that is up to you.
this is what your painting is going to look like after you're done going over it a couple of times. And you're going to want to let it dry maybe one day just to make sure that it's um, completely dry. And now, the moment you've been all waiting for, taking off the tape to see those satisfying clean lines. Removing the tape off of the sides was super satisfying and easy, but it was actually quite a challenge when it came to removing it from the actual design because it was made of so many little pieces of tape. Also, the tape removed some of the paint in a few spots, so just know that you'll have to paint over the color in just a few small spots. But in the end, I promise it will look beautiful. As you can see in this close-up, there were a few sections that weren't smooth due to the straight edges of the tape, but this is a quick fix by just going over these spots with your paint. And the moment you've been all waiting for, the final product. Overall, I'm super, super happy with how this turned out, and I challenge you to try this modern painting at your home. The painting I'm going to be showing you how to do right now is this one right over here. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to want to start off with figuring out what you'd like to paint. My theme for this painting was to have a very minimalistic and neutral vibe using geometric shapes and then adding a bit of delicateness with some nice line art using flowers. I found this wall art piece on Pinterest and was using it as my inspiration when sketching my art. I really suggest going on Pinterest, typing in your color scheme and a few keywords, and then you can browse the results to find something that appeals to you. I'm using my iPad in a program called Procreate to very roughly sketch out my design, but you can also just use plain paper and a pencil. The most important thing you want to do is just figure out what shapes you want to paint and where they will be placed. The color will just naturally come to you, or you can just paint over until you find your perfect color. So same like we did with the first painting, you're going to want to paint a white layer over your canvas so that it has that smooth texture. For my painting, I'm adding a beige background to the full thing, so here I'm just mixing a bunch of colors to get that exact color that I'm looking for. You'll probably find that you won't have the exact colors of paint that you have in mind, so you can just blend a bunch of um, colors together until it resembles that tone you're looking for. Okay, so here I've already painted my canvas white, let it dry, and then taped over the sides with the painter's tape. And now I'm going over it with um, the beige color that I was uh, just mixing in the previous clip. So I went over it a couple of times, maybe two or three, let it dry, and now I'm going in with a pencil and lightly sketching uh, what I want my design to look like. All right, so now you can begin painting. Uh, you can do it very roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna have to go over it a couple of times anyways. Um, so I'm just kind of playing with the shape here and seeing what I like, what I don't like. So once I'm happy with my one shape, I'm going to go in and sketch out my second shape. So I'm using a lighter tone kind of gray color for the second shape and I'm just testing it out on a white piece of paper to make sure that I'm happy with how it looks next to the other shape.
Alrighty, so the second shape is done. So now I'm gonna sketch out my third shape. For this one, I'm just going in with the paint bottle straight to the canvas because it's just white. And I'm using my thicker paintbrush here because um, it's a pretty big shape. And then I'm using a thinner paintbrush to go over the edges just to give it a nice, um, like, thin straight line. I mean, curvy, but you know what I mean. <laughs> In hindsight, I should have just done the first biggest uh, white shape in the beginning as like the first shape because now it's kind of tough to go in between the two other shapes and not try to get any of the white paint on them. So just keep that in mind. All right, here comes the last shape. I'm using this uh, lightish gray color um, to paint this kind of triangle looking shape on the bottom left. Okay, so now comes the line art. So I found this um, image off of Pinterest again. Um, that's where I find all my inspiration. But I really like the way how it was just so minimalistic and um, it looked pretty easy to draw. And it actually was. I thought it was going to be a lot more challenging uh, than it was. So um, I just kind of like sketched out where I wanted the lines to go um, with a very light um, pencil. And I drew three of the same flowers, but uh, with different lengths and petals and tried to kind of like make it my own. So then I went in with a fine tip black marker and went over my sketches. In hindsight, I wish that I did use a thicker black marker just because it's a little bit hard to see the um, flowers, but it's still nice and delicate. And here I'm just going in and erasing um, the leftover pencil marks. And once your paint dries, you can now go ahead and remove that painter's tape, which is my favorite part of any painting because it is just so satisfying. I mean, look at that. Thank you for watching my video on how to create these two very beautiful paintings. I would love to see what you guys came up with, so please tag me on Instagram um, at Michelle Sedges and comment down below if you have any other um, video DIY requests for me to do in the future. Just to let you know, I will be doing a video about how to create this beautiful gallery wall, um, basically how to um, find out your color theme, where to buy these paintings, and how to kind of figure out what the layout is. Um, that's going to be posted sometime next week, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you!